Okay, so we've talked about um, the process of nuclear fusion, but what we haven't said is where nuclear fusion happens. So nuclear fusion can happen on Earth. Um, we've got nuclear fusion reactors where the um, where we can get a plasma that's hot enough to fuse nuclei together, but it takes more energy than we get out because we have to put so much energy in to get these nuclei to come together that we get out less energy than we than we put in. Um, if we could get them to work, then that'd be amazing because there's no nuclear waste. We're maybe fusing two hydrogen atoms, we're gonna get helium. There's nothing, there's no problem with helium. In fact, if anything, there's a shortage of helium in the world. So that'd be a good thing. Um, so there's there's no waste at all with, with um, nuclear fusion. But as I say, it takes so much energy to get it going that we don't get any energy out. It takes more energy than it, than it releases. But in the sun, that's not the case. The sun's very hot, so the sun hasn't got that problem. So in the sun, we've got um, small nuclei, two small nuclei fused together to produce a larger nuclei, um, or larger nucleus, plus some energy. So um, in the sun, that's what's happening. Nuclear, nuclear fusion is happening in the sun. That's how the sun, that's the sun's kind of power source. And the sun can do that um, up and up until um, up until iron, so the the sun can fuse together these smaller nuclei to make um, a larger nucleus, and that, that releases its energy. Uh, the smaller they are, so like hydrogen fusing to make helium releases more energy than some bigger um, some bigger uh, nuclei fusing together. But up until iron, that's okay, and the sun will release release energy. Um, by the time it's released, by the time it's um, fusing iron, when it's run out of the smaller nuclei, then it's kind of on its last legs as a star, but it will release energy still. So you might also, though, think, well, if that's the case, then how come there are elements that are heavier than iron if we can't make them in the, in the, in the sun? Where did they come from? So this is kind of... Um, Proof, I guess, that the that our sun has been round once before. It's all it's it's been a star, and then it's exploded in what's called a supernova. And in the supernova, that's when nuclear fission um, starts to happen. And so, if you've got any, so like I'm, my wedding ring's got gold in it. Well, it's gold. So those gold atoms were formed in a, a supernova. Um, because I know that they that gold is a heavier nucleus than iron, so um, so it has to have been formed in a nuclear fission um, event in a in a supernova. Um, so anyway, so the the sun uses um, nuclear fusion for its energy source. Nuclear fission is in power stations predominantly, but also in supernovas happens as well. Um, I think we've covered everything, but there is going to be a space topic where all this comes up again. And I've just talked about a little bit about the life cycle of a, of a star, that it might explode and then um, reform into another a, another star. And so our, our sun is at least a second um, generation star. Um, that is going to come up in the space topic, which we're going to do at some point. We might even do it after this nuclear physics topic. The others are doing waves, but I think I'll get you to do the star project. Anyway, I hope you're all okay. Um, and good luck with the exam questions that are coming.